Hey traders, John Howell here and in today's awesome educational and also market update video, I am going to be covering the Dow Jones and the S&P 500, but more of a longer term picture, not the day by day, but stuff, but what's what the weekly chart, what's the monthly chart, what are they telling us what's likely to happen moving forward? I'm also going to be doing the exact same thing for gold. What's, what's likely to happen with gold long term? Really, really, really excited for that. Also silver long term as well too. And also I'm going to be covering what I believe is the one stock or the one market that is going to give us the biggest bull run in history. We're talking Bitcoin type of action. I can't wait to show that with you. Also, a lot of people have asked me, how did I call the S&P 500 breakout? How did I call the Tesla breakout? How did I call these JP Morgan and some these other and then these other stocks? And uh, how did I get a how did I pick the projection? I'm going to share with you how to use this one awesome projection tool. So if you see this certain pattern in the market, you can use, use this projection and it has a like a 80, 80 plus percent success rate of not only breaking in that direction, but actually getting to that projection target. Also, very last, I'm going to be sharing with you what I'm personally trading and also investing in. It's got a lot to cover in this video, so let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, if you haven't done so yet, then go to johnsflashsale.com to grab the trading course right now. If you're struggling with your trading course, or if you're struggling with your trading right now, you need this, right? I'm going to be teaching you what I call the foundational stuff here, 10k per month plan, and so on and so forth. I'm going to be giving you chart reading strategies, two amazing trading systems, and so much more. johnsflashsale.com, $7. I'm also giving you money back guarantee. If you don't believe it's worth the $7, let me know and I'm happy to refund your $7 there. Just get the help there, okay? So what I want to share with you right now is I want to bring up the, uh, the let, me, let me do this here. I want to bring up the long-term charts here and this is going to be the for the Dow Jones, the S&P 500 and so, so on and so forth, right? So let's actually bring this up through here. So we're looking at the weekly chart right now on the on on the Dow Jones. Okay, we can see on the Dow Jones on the Dow. What are on the Dow Jones? What the hell is with that? On the Dow, on the Dow, the the. <laughs> Man, I can't talk today. Um, on uh, on the, on the Dow Jones. Uh, we can actually see that we are now moving to the upside. And we are we are making we we are we are definitely almost at my projection target through here, and we're just continuing to move up through here. Now, as we can see, right, we've gone through a very 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 long, pretty bull market extended leg through here. Um, so this leg through here uh, has a very 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 high probability chance of actually going through a bit of a pullback. But all in all, even if we do see a bit of a pullback, that does not mean the overall trend has changed. We can see here on the long term charts that the market went low, higher low, higher low. So even if we do have a bit of a pullback through here, right, and then a hold, we could get possibly just continue on, which we're probably likely to do that. Any pullback in this market is probably gonna be a massive buy the dip for a lot of hedge funds investors that are probably likely to continue. Just like we saw here, just like we saw here, and just like we saw here as well too. Makes sense? So I hope that makes sense for you to, for you guys. I just see that I just see that the overall over the overall trend of this stock market is probably going to be continue up for the rest of this year. But we are going to encounter these pullbacks through here. Okay, so every time we see a pullback or a very sharp correction in the markets, I believe it's likely to be hold and buy the dip. Uh, and this thing is just probably going to keep ripping and ripping and ripping and ripping to the upside, um, as we can see through there, right? And um, and we can see that, that that's what's going on right now as well too. There's also another lineup here. I'm not sure the reason why I got that lineup there. That's the 32,000 line. But that's 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 what we can see through there, right? We can see how we've done that. Now, just, just keep in mind, guys, right? We pretty much spent almost two years going sideways. So we've just we just started to really break out right now. So I reckon for, we had two years of sideways movement and we've been breaking up. It's not vertical breakup but we have been going up. So I reckon we actually have another, another, you know, six to 12 months of a bull market before it potentially finally tops uh, through there in the market. So, 
So that's so that's what I'm looking at through there, and the same for the S and P 500. Right? If you look at the S and P 500 weekly chart, we can see this. We can see the same thing through there. Let me delete that off the screen. We can see how we actually had a nice move up, slowly move up. Had pretty much did nothing through here, and now we're running up. But the but if I bring up my monthly charts, look at this here. Right? Look at this trend line through here. This is massive where we are right now. So. I believe that we're probably likely to see a little bit more upside or maybe even getting close to it right now. And then we're probably likely to see a very, very, very uh, pullback through here. Um, but on a pullback, nothing has changed until we start to see these lows broken through here. So even on a sharp pullback, like something like this here, a sharp pullback, we're probably likely to hold and then continue rallying and then rallying back up towards this level through here. So get ready for that pullback guys all right, overall but on the overall picture i don't i don't see anything changing yet on the overall picture this is the remember this is a big picture this is long-term stuff as well too so that's what i'm seeing through there um in the markets you know what i mean guys so just just keep in mind of that you know and just keep just keep being patient and keep making sure that you're having a really 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 good uh successful trading system and and making sure you're doing really really well through there now i'm running a webinar today and if you'd like to learn how i trade the markets this is it here. Learn how I trade the markets. Go to John's with an S, John's with an S, livetrading.com. That's John's livetrading.com. Join my webinar today and I'm going to walk you through exactly how I trade the markets, how I scan the markets, my trading strategy, and more. The John's with an S, livetrading.com. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about, which was gold long term. Really interesting stuff with gold long term. Let's actually bring up the GOD because that gives me a bit more data. Um, I can go back in time. Now, gold long term has already started its big bull market, as you can see, right? Came down through here, came down. We had this big breakout. We had another. We had this another high low or breakout. I see this thing probably continue sideways for a little bit, a little bit more, and then breaking up. But once we do break up and out of say these levels through here, this level through here, we're probably likely to race up to to an all time new high uh, with gold here. We do have a pretty free and clear, as you can see. Once we break the Actually, actually, let me bring, let me bring up the actual gold chart itself. There's the gold chart itself. Okay, cool. So right, so we're right at that support level through there. Once we break sort of sort of this uh, 15, once we once we break this sort of 15, 16 level, then it's a pretty free and clear run to around about that 18 level. That's where the next major resistance level is. So that's where I see gold continuing to move and continue to run through there. It's going to be really, really, really exciting to see that happening there, guys. And also. Let's have a look at silver long term as well too. Now the silver market long term. This is what I this is this is what I noticed. I'm like, wow, look at this. So not only we had we had this major trend line coming down throughout. We had the starting point. We had this resistance through here. Then it came down. It came back up. Now look what's happening. Right, we're forming what a higher low through here. So not only not only are we forming a a low and a slight high low or double bottom, lower high higher high higher low starting that bull market now i believe overall remember this is a weekly chart right so on the day by day by day basis we could have up down sideways all that sort of stuff but as the weekly chart starts to really really unfold we can see through here um so not only and not only did we actually break below this trend line but this resistance is now becoming major support level through it that's the reason why it found support level through there that's this is the power of using the weekly chart this with these long-term what i call charting parameters um in that trading course guys I think the very second, uh, the second or the third chart reading strategy, I talk a lot about this technique here, the charting parameters of using big pictures like this, so you can see where those major levels of support and resistance, because they do, they they're very 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 evident in the market as you can see through here. So now we're continuing up through here. We even broke past this major level of support and resistance through here. So we're definitely starting to see a lot more bullish activity through here. So even if we did get a bit more sideways movement through here, guys, I see a lot more upside that coming. Um, to come with silver and gold if I squeeze my chart up a bit more especially once we start to break this level through here this is that major sort of $20 level especially when we start especially when we start to see this $20 level guys it's probably likely to start to see a very very nice move we've done nothing here as you can see for so many years and I believe it's going to be the decade for silver and gold the decade that's right the decade um, it's probably going to be the year of silver and gold as well um, just like it was it was the year of gold last year as well too um so just be prepared guys okay be prepared that as this silver and gold starts to heat up 
that's where you're going to start to see the media going, oh my goodness, it's time to, is it time to jump in the gold or have we missed the boat and all this sort of stuff. Um, it's just really, really interesting to see how they, how they work on that. Now, let's move on now to the biggest bull run in history of what I believe is going to be the biggest bull run in history, and that is going to be, drumroll, ding, and that's right, it's the GDXJ, the GDXJ. This thing here is something that I'm getting really, 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 really excited about. We have done nothing since 2014, pretty much, through to where we are right now. And if you know anything about the markets is that the whole, the, the, there's that whole analogy, right? The calm before the storm effect. Well, we've been, we've been in a very, very, very calming period and we're starting to really, really ramp up right now. I'm getting really excited for GDXJ myself personally. And, um, and so it's getting really, really excited for me. Once we start to really break these levels here and break above 60, oh my goodness, guys, I definitely see... Bitcoin type of actions, a Bitcoin type of action in the GDXJ, especially. We've got the GDX, but if if the GDXJ is probably one of the things that I'm seeing very, very, very long term over the next five years, we're likely to see some really, really, really heating up. And I'm not getting that from a fundamental basis. I'm seeing it from the actual chart basis and the long term picture, because the chart really gives you a lot, a lot of good uh, sort of a, a lot of good. Uh, um, um, sort of insight to the markets as well too, it makes sense. Um, so we can see that through there. And the reason why I say insight is because, uh, which leads me on to my next, uh, my, so this this is the stock here that's gonna give me, the reason why I say insight is because no one was calling, I shouldn't say no one, but there's some people were calling bullish um, on Tesla, right? TSLA. And I'm gonna bring up the daily chart here for a minute. And no one, no one was calling bullish for Tesla, uh, but I started calling bullish uh, around about sort of 350. So many people were short uh, Tesla because they thought it was going to go bankrupt and all that sort of stuff. That's the reason why you shouldn't be listening to people um, to make your to make your investment decisions. Um, you should should be, should trade based on what you know. So the thing is that um, based on Tesla, um, I want to teach you now. As I promised, I want to teach you now an awesome projection tool. Whenever you see a market going sideways. And you see a complete a channel from the low to the high point. So let me just bring this back to here for a minute, okay? Uh, let's just bring this back to here. All right. Whenever you actually, I'll just I'll just leave it there. Um, whenever you start to see a market channeling from the low to the high, from the low to the high, you start to see that there's a very 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 strong resistance, a very strong support level. That when it does break, and as you can see, right, it broke up through here. When it does break. We're now likely to see that move. So what I do is I, I draw a trend line, right? From the high to the low of the high of the resistance and down to the low of the support. And I project that up. And as you can see, right, that's how I got what? That's how I got the trend line. And that's how I said, that's that's what made, that's what gave me the confidence to come out and say, Tesla's likely to hit now 500. If I look at say the S&P 500, that was the, that was the sort of the same thing, but it wasn't a, it wasn't a, um, it wasn't a channel, but it was more of a triangle pattern. Now, if you see triangle patterns like this here that are very strong on the upside and it's compressing up like an AZ and triangle pattern and we do start to see a breakout, what you do is you go to the where the resistance is, you go to the furthest point to where the resistance started and you draw a trend line from the high. Okay, so you draw a trend line from this high point where the actual resistance, the last resistance point and then you want to just draw that down to the trend line through there. See how I just did that? So you draw it from the latest, from the furthest resistance point, then furthest resistance point in the triangle pattern, then draw it down. Then you want to project that up, right? Then you want to project that. So you want to draw it, then you want to see, see how I do that, right? I'm just using further resistance. And then I'm going to project that up like that as, in, as there. And then I'm going to then draw this level through here, and I'm going to say that is that that is now the projection point for the S and P 500. Now, isn't it funny that this is actually blue skies through here? Actually, it's actually probably down a bit more. There you go. Yep. So, but isn't it funny that this is blue skies? But on the projection point, look what happened, right? See how it actually had a bit of resistance, and then we continue to break through. Isn't that interesting that the market continued up, and then it found that resistance point? So. That's what made me call the projection on this one as well too. Uh, let me bring up now, uh, say, JP Morgan. 
JP Morgan, what was that? The exact same thing. Found a channel, okay? We broke out, made a high low, then we started to really break out through here. And then I said, okay, once we're on this level through here, I knew we had a very high probability that we're gonna get to 130, around that 130. What, what was that? That was simply just measuring from the high of the channel to the low of the channel, projecting that up, and now we find this 130 level through here. Make sense? And I'll, and this this guy this guys I talk a lot more in, actually in my trading course, um, you know, with, the, with in the link below. And also, guys, um, once again, this is a projection tool, but especially when you overlay it with my trading strategy that I actually teach you on my webinar at John's with an S J O H N S Live Training com. I teach you my strategy, and if you can get that type of trading setup within this projection tool, it is phenomenal, right? Phenomenal. Also, Goldman Sachs, right? Same thing with Goldman Sachs. Look at Goldman Sachs right now. Look where it ran to. What is this? Channel. High, high, low, low. There's complete channel through there. Measure from the high down to the low. Project that up. You have the projection point. Wham. Look what happened with the Goldman Sachs. It ran straight there and now it's having some problems. So that's the awesome projection tool that I wanted to use it, right? Use it in your trading because this is phenomenal. And the one thing I love about these projections, especially when you're trading options, is that when you trade out of the money options, if you have a loss, the loss would be, if you if you trade out of the money options and you give yourself three or four months time frame, the losses, if you do have a losing trade and it doesn't run there because it doesn't do that all the time, your probably loss is between 50 and 100%. So whatever you put up, your probably loss is between 50 and 100% of that investment. But 70 plus percent of the time when it does get to there, your, your profit is now three, four, 500% return. See that there? So it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal strategy. In fact, on Goldman Sachs, I picked up 300% return. I had one of my private clients recently pick up a 400% return because I told him about this and right on this arrow, as this market started to break up through here, I said, get ready because this is getting ready to move. Um, and that's exactly what I did there with my private clients. So that's the, as you can see, right, that's the awesome projection tool. So as you start to see these channels in place and they start to break, so okay, we're now likely to make this run as well too, okay? Now on to the very last point of this video. What am I trading and what am I investing? Now, when it comes to my trading, I'm just looking for my setup. You know what I mean? I just have a setup and that that takes me that, that takes me quite detail. On my webinar that I'm running, again, at John's with an S, J-O-H-N-S, live training.com. I'll walk you through my trading strategy, right? I'll walk you through the details of what I look for in a trading setup. So, but what I'm investing in long term is two main things that I'm looking at. One, I do have uh, I do have some 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 GLD, some, some I do have some GLD, which is gold. Uh, but I'm heavily heavily invested into silver. Okay, heavily heavily invested in silver, and I've also been loading up recently. Even just recently, I put on. I put on a position as well too. In just the last couple of days, I put on a position in silver, more long-term as well too, uh, and also the GDXJ as well too. If I bring up my weekly chart here, this GDXJ long-term uh, has a phenomenal, phenomenal, uh, phenomenal upside coming long-term that is, that, that's my investing. So GDXJ and, S, uh, G, GDXJ and silver are my top two things that long-term I'm looking at right now. Um, but within that, guys, I also see some really, really good trading opportunities, even with GDXJ. So for example, once we start to break above, say this level through here, uh, of, of this point through here, right? This point through here. Uh, let's actually just do this level here, right? So we had resistance, we had support. Let's just, let's just do the projection right now. Actually, I didn't even notice that, right? This is the support, this is the resistance. Let's do the projection, let's do it from the high. Let's, get a, let's now go down to the low of the support. Let's project that up, okay? Um, let's project that up, and then as you can see, right, that's the projection tool. That's the projection there. At 50 is the exact target there, right? So 50 there would be would be where we're likely to get to, right? Just like I shared with you a minute ago. If we break this level, we're likely to get there. Very, very simple, right? Now this top line, what is that top line? That top line is what? That's the actual next major, that's the actual ultimate major resistance level back here. So as you can see, right, this level right here is a major, major, major target for where it's likely to get to. So once we start the break, we're likely to get to at least 50. And if, if it overshoots, probably even up towards that higher level there before we start to find a bit of resistance. See how simple this can be, guys? Really, really simple. Now, that's a simple process. And then especially if I get my trading set up here, 
and I get a very, very nice breakout bar, breakaway bar with volume. Again, on my webinar, uh, I'll, te I'll teach you that, um, johnslivetraining.com. If I get my setup and I get a big breakaway and I get a nice breakaway bar with volume with my setup and I get the projection point, it is like 90 plus percent success rate that it's not only going to break and run, but it's going to get to my 50, 50 target. It is, it, it is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and so that's what I want to walk you through there, guys. So there we go, guys. That's what I wanted to walk you through. Once again, guys, if you'd like to learn how I trade the market, then go to johnslivetraining.com. I'll walk you through everything on on on. on 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 uh, on that webinar as well too. And last thing, guys, if 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 I can ask for your help, if you go to my main channel, um, so if you go to if you go to my main channel and go to the community tab, um, I've actually put up uh, I, I put up a question there, and um, I put up I put up a question there, and uh, and I just want to get your feedback on something. So if you can go to the community tab, answer that question, please, and that'll be absolutely fantastic. Please leave a comment below, guys. Let me know what you thought about this. What you thought about this training video? What did you get out of it the most? What did you like the most? And um, also, guys, if you have purchased the seven dollar trading course, just leave a feedback below as well too. Let me know what you got out of the actual trading course as well too. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love your feedback. I'm here to really, really help you. 2020 is my year to help you move forward in a major way in these markets. That's why I'm doing more of these combined educational videos, market updates, long-term, short-term training, and so on and so forth to help you move forward because you can do well. You just need to know what to focus on, okay? They say per they say practice makes perfect. That's absolutely crap. If you're tra if you're if you're practicing the wrong stuff in the market, you're only going to get a if you're practicing crap, you're going to get a lot of crap, right? Perfect practice makes makes perfect, and it's stuff like this here that ma that absolutely makes a massive massive difference to your trading overall. Please leave a comment below, guys, and let me know what you thought about the training and all the other stuff we've talked about today.